So today I'm feeling mm, maybe a bit under the weather. I don't really know. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a, a sit down video. The laziest form of YouTube content. I'm gonna be um, just sitting down and talking and I'm gonna be talking about crazy childhood stories. Like crazy, like embarrassing stories that I've had awkward stories crazy stories like everything i'm just gonna i'm gonna inform you all uh and i'm excited not really anyway okay the first one is probably the most awkward thing um this happened over two years so that means that it's very awkward um yeah so basically what happened is i had a crush on this guy named we'll just call him Joseph in third grade and me and my friend had a crush on Joseph for a very long time all of third grade and then in fourth grade he was in my class again and it was great but this time my old friend like she wasn't in that class but like my I had a new friend that was we'll call her like Allison so me and Allison we were like BFFs we clicked so well and we both had a crush on Joseph and I was like you know I actually liked him at, like last year in third grade too. Like I know, you know, crazy. So anyway, we talked about it, we liked him. We decided, we came to a conclusion that we wanted to tell him. I don't know why. I don't, uh, yeah, no, it was just bad. So we decided that we wanted to tell Joseph that we liked him, right? So here we are, we're telling Joseph we like you. We actually, um, our tube chicken and our friend uh, tells him. Basically, we all we saw was him like drop to his knees, like on the basketball court at recess, and he, yeah, he was like totally upset. Um, anyway, so it got crazy. Um, I don't want to like go too deep into it because like it's so bad that I don't think I, you'll unsubscribe for me if you. Anyway, we kind of stalked him a little bit. Well, so Allison knew where um, Joseph lived. So we, oh gosh, this sounds so bad. We would like drop things off at his door and like ding dong ditch, you know, when like leave like a little treat for him. Uh, we would like cheer him on at his like basketball games at a recess. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you anything else that we did because then you'll actually unsubscribe. So. Not even gonna go there, but yeah, it was really awkward, and I, we liked him so much. I was like, why isn't he want to date me? Um, there was a reason that he did not want to date you. Hello. Um, anyway, that was um interesting. This next story was scary, and I'm not kidding. Okay, here's how it happened. Here's how it went. I was having a race with my friends in preschool, so I'm I'm young, but like still, who gets their head stuck in a tree? Uh, I was having a race with my friends, and I was living, and I was enjoying life. And, you know, out of the blue, literally out of nowhere, I look back. I was in the lead of this race, and I was killing it. And I don't know why. This sounds really unnatural. But, yeah, I jumped because I was so happy. I thought that would, like, boost me, and I would be like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, mm, you know, I was like, I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm in the lead. Yes, you know, I'm... I was in preschool, what do you want me to do about it? And I wasn't looking where I was going, I was looking behind me to make sure that I was like in the lead still. And I, when I jumped, my head got stuck in a tree. I don't know how to describe it, but it was the kind of tree that was like, had like a trunk, and then it opened up, and then it closed again, so there's like literally a hole right there. And I put, got my head in it. I don't know why, like how did my head not fall off, because I, I was like hanging, I was like dangling from the tree. And I'm like screaming and crying, and like all these people are here, and like for some reason they couldn't just lift me out of the trick. Like they were struggling, and I was there for like two minutes, which, like, if you think about it, is a long time to just be hanging from a tree. It was very scary. That was bad. One time, I almost cracked my head open. So I had a babysitter, and her name was, let's see what we call her. We'll call her Kelly. So, Kelly, um, I was really young, because I was like three or four, and the neighbors were having a party. 
they were not really neighbors that my parents knew very well. Like they didn't know them well enough to like trust them without them being there. So they were like, hey, Kelly, like, I know that the neighbors are having a party today, but we don't really know them that well, so let's just keep the kids home today. And Kelly was like, yeah, no, for sure. Do you think Kelly kept us home? No, she took us to the party. So we went to the party. Uh, I completely fell. Basically, I was running. And I remember this vividly, like this is all I remember. And I was three or four, like I was young. I'm 15 now. I remember this so well. Um, I was I was running like a lot. As I'm running really, really fast, all of a sudden I trip over a wire and the wire went to like a speaker and the speaker was right in front of me. I fell directly on the speaker. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. And I completely fell right on my forehead. So Kelly got fired. Um, and I like had to, I was like rushed to the emergency room. And I had to get, I was about to get stitches, but instead it wasn't like deep enough or whatever. I don't know, big enough to get like stitches. So I just got like human glue. And so you, sorry, my dog's barking. I don't know what you want me to do about it. So I can still feel the scar right here. This is just like an awkward, embarrassing story. So one time I, I had a rubber band in my hand in fourth grade and I was playing with it and the teacher was like up there right on the board like teaching it, everyone's watching. And all of a sudden I accidentally flicked my rubber band and it hit him in the head. Um, it was so awkward, I thought everyone saw because it literally flicked. Like, I was, I was like playing with it, it was like, like slingshotted. I thought that everyone knew it was me so I like turned red as a fire hydrant and I'm just sitting there and everyone's like, oh, I'll just say Mr. Smith pretty basic like, like mr smith oh my gosh like somebody just like slingshot over band and i was like waiting for everyone to be like it was taylor you know like i was like you know fourth graders so i'm like scared out of my mind and i don't know why but instead of like i should have gone along and be like oh my gosh yeah mr smith but like i didn't i just kind of like sat there which kind of made it more obvious that i was being quiet about it and like no one was saying anything but someone was like we'll call her like Catherine. And Catherine's like, I think it was Taylor. And like everyone looks at me and I was like, no, like no, my rubber bands in my hair. Cause I have like an extra. And she's like, but I just saw you playing with a different rubber band. And I was like, no, you're like, you're wrong. And like everyone was staring at me and I was like, no, no. That was pretty awkward. He, it was death, it was my rubber band. So I think everyone knew that it was my rubber band, but I, I didn't like, also, a really short story is that in fifth grade, I had another crush on this guy named, we'll call him Donald, okay? We'll just call him Donald. So, I had a crush on Donald, and so did all my friends, and everybody found out. I don't know why this stuff happens to me. It just does. And I didn't do it. They were like, every time you're around Donald, like, you blush so much. And I'm like, no. That was awkward. That's a short story, but... It's just something that was really bad. This happened in first grade, so, and it was pretty bad, pretty, <coughs> I'm good. I don't know what I was thinking, you know? And the teacher is like, like presenting to the class, you know, teaching, whatever. And I'm, that was like, you know, in first grade, how you have those dots on the carpet and you sit there. I don't know why you couldn't just sit at your desk. That was just what you did back in the day. So yeah, that's what we had. And, like, yeah, basically he, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I'm kind of sitting in first grade. I have like my knees up like that and I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? And I just fart, like I let one rip so loud. I remember it very vividly too. And I don't remember like why, like why didn't I hold it in? Like, and it was so embarrassing and everyone knew it was me. And they were all like, oh, Taylor, oh my gosh. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then some girl, you know, Catherine from fourth grade, the same girl who blamed me for the rubber band. Catherine actually stood up for me that day. And she was like, guys, everybody does it. It's not her fault, stop it. And, I, and then I was like, yeah, it's like not my fault, you know? Literally, I just got a notification. I don't know why. I don't. I don't not subscribe to this woman, but Bethany Moda just posted a video that says becoming the ultimate disco girl for a day. I would like some credit for that. Okay. Um. So yeah, those are my crazy childhood stories. I don't really know. Um. 
if I think of any more, maybe I'll make a part two if you like this. I'm not funny today. I'm never funny, but especially today, I'm like out of it. I don't even know why. I'm just, I am. So I'm gonna have to edit this and make it look really funny because I don't know. Thanks guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more content, usually better content than today. But it, I, um, mm -hmm. okay, bye. I love you.